Hello, thank you for joining me, it's B-Ball Joe, and you're watching Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Last episode I felt was really short, and not a lot of progress happened. So this episode will be longer, and lots of progress happening. Stay tuned! First thing, you can increase the working range of your technical office, which I didn't do earlier, so that was silly. I don't think, yeah, you cannot do that with fire trucks, which is fine. Cool. Now that we have the stone and everything else out of the way, this, the heating plant does not need people right now. Actually, we can just turn that off and have at least one of the buses do something different. And here we are. Last time we talked about food and make food our first income. I don't see a problem with that at all. And I think I have a place for it picked out already. Either over here to the right or over here to the left. I, don't, I, I like that because it's really close to the border. So importing and exporting anything will be relatively cheap. But it also means that we are close enough to our current city. Oh, it looks like our university is almost done. We're close enough to our current city that we can bring people in and we are, it's just a good spot. And if we need to import crops later by train, which definitely is something that we need to attack pretty soon, then we should have a pretty good setup for that. Now, if you do crops before seasons or if you play without seasons, it's relatively easy because you can just leave your crops on the fields and don't have to worry about bringing them in before winter. But if you are playing with seasons, your crops will essentially get deleted if you leave them on the fields when the first snow comes. You, you lose all your crops if you don't or if you didn't already bring them in. So it's a little harder because there are a lot of crops and you need a lot of vehicles to make it work if you want a big production because you can only produce so much. So even if we had farms already situated, it would cost a lot of money. I think over here maybe, actually over here is a really good place for crops. So that's something I want to tackle very soon. This side is not as wide and open. Maybe, oh, maybe we can maybe do it near here. I think there's a little hill right there. But yeah, that's those are options that I want to consider. Yeah, there's a hill. I don't like that. This is all flatland and there's nothing better than flatland for the fields. So, I'm pretty... <laughs> I'm um, looking here, there's a little bit of flatland here, there's a lot of flatland here. But I don't think we need as much, but I don't want to be as close to the city and the city's going to grow. So we will have our food production right in this area where it's already nice and flat. First things we need. Storage. Very important. I did that slow scrolling again, and it's just when I tab out or... I do something with my recording um, software that sometimes it picks that up weirdly. Putting it this way because I want, we well, probably don't have to be that far out. I want the rail line to be connected, um, what is it, north? Yeah, north-south. So it will be a little easier to run a rail line like this compared to running a rail line through something else. All right, that one's in. Let's get our actual food production. Where is it? Small food factory. I want at least two. I know that. Let's situate these in a way that we won't regret it. I do think for the smaller ones like here, it is not as important to enable... Ooh. We actually can get three here. I want to do three. I don't think it's as important to hook up a grain elevator as it is for the bigger ones. Just because the warehouse should be able to house enough grain that we can import that this should all function pretty well. Could be wrong. Totally true. But I'm hoping that is the case. Winter is... 
It's almost over, but it's not over yet. I'm just realizing the temperature is still... The temperature is still wrong. Yeah, I can't do this right now. Um, don't, don't delete your roads, or don't upgrade your roads too fast. Okay. Don't do what I just did, because that was simply a mistake. Make this back up to what it was. Build this road. What? There's nobody on there. Okay. This road has to turn into a gravel road very, very relatively soon. But actually, we're already doing this. Let's make this a little easier for us. Connect it there. And I think we're going to have a bus stop somewhere in this area. And for this, we may even use one of the built-in ones. Maybe. <laughs> I think we can actually put it right here. That'll be a good spot for it. Uh, real bus stop. I mean, I, I have no problems with the bus stops that are already in the base game. So, there we are. Let's see. Yeah, if we connect all of these, we can get this one connected like there. And this one can just come in there. Cool. All this should be happy. And we have our storage set up there. Now there is there is a road connection already here. We need to obviously connect that. I'm not we're not gonna get around that. That's not gonna be the road that we have. But I highly recommend using a we're running here at one time speed. I don't want to lose any time. Um, I highly recommend um, building a, and I forgot the name of it, let's see. It's down here, not bad, no, road cargo station. So I highly recommend building a road cargo station to handle your trucks, especially if you know that you have more than just like a handful running around cargo stations, perfect. Because the warehouse can only handle one truck, and if you have one truck told them to unload and wait until unload, it's not gonna it's not gonna leave, and they don't have any room to do anything else. If you have a cargo station, too small. I don't know how big this is, but if you have a cargo station, you generally, oh, here's the train aggregate loading. I thought I had one. Huh. We may replace that at the coal station. But if you have a small aggregate loading... Um, to take care of that, you shouldn't have to worry about um, the spacing as much. I actually don't like any of these too much, so let's just use the base game one. What I would like, yeah, I want this one a little bit out of the way that I can put another building there. I don't know what building we would want, but I want a different building to go there. Okay, this can be gravel. They can start building it. I want all of this to be graveled and cool. Let's run this. Another thing that we need to do very soon is turn our import-export road into a gravel road. And I think we should do that very soon. Um, yeah, that's going to happen. So we're going to turn what I just, the structures that I just started on into, not the structures, the roads that we just started on into what they need to be. I, I do want to do a lot more gravel. I don't feel that we actually have the means to do this much gravel. We, we barely have any gravel sitting there. I'm almost tempted to import more gravel and I'm definitely tempted to construct one or two more of these just to get more gravel in. How much are we constructing right now? This one, I'm sure, is doing all the roads. This one is doing... Yeah. 
there, there's a lot going on. This technical office does not need to be finished right now. Technical University is almost done. Gravel Quarry, we just added. All of these are roads. Uh, yeah. I think our university is going to be done any moment now. And after that, it's really just... There it is. Nope, not yet. After that, it's really just getting the gravel, building what you need, and then we can actually start doing something a little different. There really isn't much else right now, so I'll be back once our gravel pieces are constructed. So we are back. Apologies if you do not like me skipping over, let's call it the waiting phase. It's maybe not boring, but there's really not much to show besides me jumping around and making sure that everything is kind of working. So I'm making sure that there is only the right amount of staff in the university. I'm making sure that there is some room of citizens, which we have to take care of very soon, build a new building. Uh, everyone has food, everyone is relatively happy. That everyone really gets what they need to be happy and to be healthy and to have everything, you know, going for them. There, we have now finally some gravel. Up here is our gravel plant. We have 75 tons of gravel. Our gravel quarries are not done yet, but I decided to add the fourth one also. There's more room for adding more if we really have to. So that's all happening. And all that's great. You can see here our gravel roads were already done. And I think once... Once the number of these unfinished roads and quarries is going down and... Oh, footpaths, yeah, I'm, I'm expanding footpaths everywhere. Once all of that is going to a level that feels appropriate, I will um, put those food productions in order. Order the food productions. Not sure how you would say that. But yeah, that's happening. Yeah, there's all these footpaths. I'm turning them to gravel. If you didn't know, let me just show you. If you didn't know, a regular mud footpath has a walking speed of 60%. A regular footpath has a walking speed of 112%. So you almost double the walking speed. But what does that mean for the game? You can almost go twice as far. Because the game only counts how long it takes you to walk somewhere, not how far it is to walk somewhere. So if you can walk faster, in the same amount of time you cover more ground, you get further. So if you have trouble reaching places, so earlier we had trouble reaching the... Excuse me. Reaching the clinic over here. By now we may be even... Yeah, we're already able to reach it just by having a couple gravel paths in here. So gravel is good just for that reason alone. And then the gravel path is walking speed 112. If you care, the... Yeah, the asphalt road has a walking speed of 115%. Regular asphalt, 95%. Uh, gravel road, 75%, and so on. So all of these actually matter, so keep that in mind when you want to... Uh, when you build your republic. Okay, what I wanted to do was keep managing these footpaths where I can. It is important that you when you build these, that you don't start something and then block it off later because that means sometimes your construction vehicles get stuck when they don't have to. So here I'm blocking off the first piece and if I now just open up all these other ones for construction, then the construction office cannot reach them right now so I won't even think about um, connecting to them. If I did it the opposite way, the construction office would give a, um, an order for the first piece and a truck leaves and a truck waits to load somewhere and then if you disconnect that from um, the path, your trucks will, they won't know what to do. So they just get stuck and you get frustrated and that happens. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to run into that so I'm just warning you right now. What do we have here? We just need a couple people there. I want to turn this into gravel. Because, since we do have gravel now, some gravel, 120 tons. 
I would like these to be turned or to be started in construction on, but that's a problem with having this many construction projects going on. Even though I'm trying to keep it pretty low, there's a lot of stuff. And the footpaths themselves, actually, this makes me think I should just add a couple more cars. Personal car. What is the cheapest? Four passenger, four passenger. Yep, it's all the same. I like these more. I had four more of those. They can help with all kinds of constructions. And they will be dedicated into a construction office later for just driving, but yeah, this, this is working well. Again, this is a little bit exploiting a game mechanic. There's four seats in... Let's see if we can get close enough. There's really four four spaces. I, I My parents drove one of these when back in Germany. So there's four people can sit in there, but there's four people going anywhere at any time and a driver. So it's a little tight, but it's okay. It works. I don't know if you just saw that, but it turned around right away, and that just means it got instructions from the construction office to go pick up someone else for a different... Um, for a different site. And you probably could see that in the schedule here that was updated. Because in the beginning that wasn't a thing, but now they're getting on the fly instructions. Okay. Problem. This bus station, when we have a lot of construction going on, has a lot of vehicle coming in that want to pick up people. That means this area can get clogged up really easy in, um, in places. So. Some of you already suggested that, and it's very true. You should have a dedicated bus pickup for construction only. Um, one that would help you always have people waiting there that are going to do construction. So you always have someone to pick up, and your office doesn't send out a vehicle and gets to the bus stop, and then no one is there because another bus that wasn't construction office already picked them up. Um, so that, that can help you a lot. In the beginning, I don't find it super important, but once your city grows, once your republic grows, it's definitely something you should consider and do. And if I'm looking at this, I think this road here can turn into a vanilla bus stop pretty easily. And I think we will actually do that. Let's delete you. Because I'm also considering or already thinking about... Oh, you're just a little bit too big. I think we're just a little bit too big. Let's turn the other way just to see if it doesn't make any difference. Nope, doesn't make any difference at all. Uh, let's see if we have another station that can fit in there. Bust up tiny. Is this cheating? How many people fit on here? 60 passengers. For construction office, I think this is almost perfect. I would like it a little more, like, straight in here. But I'm not going to complain. If... Come on, I, I saw it. Can I fit it in like this? No. Okay. Let's just make it happy. Right here. Let's make another bus stop there. I think it's telling me that it can drive through there. If they really can't drive through this bus stop, they can go around and that's all fine. We don't have to construct that right now. It's not really a high priority item at this point. And yeah, let's let's take let's take track of what's going on. This one we have to construct because if I want to get to get to the warehouse to construct that they have to go through here i set it up that way just because i didn't want to i wanted a nice piece of road just something that looks nice that's, that's the only reason nothing nothing different here gravel's looking good now so i feel confident with tackling our export and we may do just a little bit at a time. If you already have natural intersections, just use those to... Oh No. <laughs> it's trying to tell me that there is a spot here 
that lets me disconnect that road and that's not gonna happen. Nope, nope, just there. Sometimes it's a little finicky and you just have to play around with it until it does what you need it to do. But let's see. So the next natural stopping point is right there. Let's inspect that. We'll go out here. And then yeah, just connect to this intersection and now we can start constructing a faster import-export route. At the same time as we have import-export actually happening. I'm gonna take off my headphones. I, I do like that music a lot, so I will. you will see me on and off with the headphones, but sometimes my ears just get warm. <laughs> That's all. How are we doing here? Uh, they're both constructing relatively fast. Who's going to win? Probably both of them. And when they are done, I am relatively confident that we won't have any more gravel problems. But maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, first guy's done. Let's buy what we need. The big excavator. And then we need two trucks. Uh, two dumpers. You can try to use the big ones. I found that for um, quarry work in particular, they're not very effective because it takes so long to fill them up. I think it works if you have a lot of them, but if you just have one dumper, I prefer the smaller, quicker ones. And they're they're not bad at their capacity. They still they carry twelve tons, which is totally fine. So yeah, you do you. Uh, I like I like this setup. Are there better setups for sure? Also, something that you can that something that you can try to do is set up your whole gravel production off of your main road one thing i could do here is connect the road from here to this piece of road and just take out the middle piece so that all the gravel vehicles will stay on one piece of road i could also just connect it to this side of the gravel plant we'll do the same thing there's no real traffic yet so i'm not that worried about it but it's something that you can consider i'm sorry that was probably a little loud yeah so, all the gravel's going away, but we should get more gravel faster now that these two trucks are getting here. So this is all perfect. Enough. <laughs> Stuff is working. That's what matters. Yeah, beautiful. The first, this piece of road is already filled up with all the gravel that it will need. So that shouldn't be a problem anymore. Let's see. I don't like that you always have to scroll down to the construction as it happens here, but what I do see is oh there our bus stop here just got done which is great let's actually start constructing this bus stop and i can show you another trick trick ish if you didn't know passengers maybe i can show you passengers when they're waiting so this baltabeva is waiting on platform for up to one hour once the hour is up she will go somewhere else or she's picked up to go somewhere else, you can tell them where to go afterwards. If you don't tell them anywhere where to go, they will find their own. You can tell them to go to a different station. So if they go to another station, they again wait for an hour. You can do this one time. You can use that to extend your travel route. Or you can do that like I will do. I will send them from here to this bus stop and from this bus stop to this bus stop and then they can even out i can I, I may also just split them from here eventually to this gondola station and yeah but there's always one end piece and from the end piece they will go from that bus station to an available place of work if there is one if there isn't one don't worry about it but if there is one they will try to get there we are Yeah, they can, they can run around. That should be fine. I'm still trying to upgrade all the gravel paths, so we have that all working for us. It should be fine. I don't want to do too much, because you can cut off your citizens from something that they already had. 
our fuel there is full. This one is barely running. So that's great. Gravel is here, and that's happening. Gravel is there, and that's happening. Beautiful. So we only have one more piece of road to complete for our import-export route, which starts right here. Yeah, no, I think with that gravel there, we just need a little gravel in the tank, which 22 tons is pretty good. I almost wonder if this one could afford a second truck for pickup. Maybe. Maybe not right now. But I think we do have everything we need to get started on at least the first um, food production. And with the food production, we will have to set up the rest of the infrastructure as well. We don't need that right now, but it's something that we will need very soon. Oh, this guy has way too many workers. It's a little tiny bus station, just... I guess they can stay here. Just get it done. Very good. And now this one can become our construction meetup. Beautiful. All we have to do now is tell this guy that you now pick up people from here. And now you will have people just waiting on both sides. We do not need passengers and students waiting there. Sorry about that. Always do this, especially if you have a really small waiting limit for or capacity for your passengers. Don't have too many people. Don't allow too many people at your stations if you don't need them. This one. Where should citizens go after they're done here? I'm just telling them go, go to construction meetup for now. I am pretty happy with that. Yeah. And stuff is working. I am not as worried about the money anymore as I was in the last few episodes. So many footpaths. <laughs> I'm not as worried about the money anymore because I know we're going to make money here. We, we will have to invest a little bit to get the materials, but honestly, we have pretty much everything. The most important resource at the beginning is always your citizens. They're so expensive to have and so expensive to handle that that's the thing you want. Yep, I'm, I'm cutting off this, this path now because this one looks like it has all the gravel it needs. And then this little bulldozer will teleport home. That's just how the game works. We don't need our heating plant right now, which also means I can make this one gravel. Um, and yeah, just upgrade your roads to gravel as soon as you can. You won't regret it, I promise. And yeah, everything's running smooth. <laughs> I still would really like to see at least one truck in here at all times. That's that's the ideal, but I think to get there we have to at least add one more gravel quarry, which I will do right now. There is too much gravel quarry, or there are too many gravel quarries at some point. We're not at that point yet. There's a good place. This looks like a good spot. And there too. We just add at least one more. Are those the perfect spots? No, but this is also not the perfect area. Obviously, I'm blocking off a bunch of gravel that's right here. I could change that intersection, but I don't really mind it the way it is right now. And stuff is moving which is what we want, 26 tons. Ooh, I broke something. You wanna go to the small food factory and, haha! -ha, you remember how I said earlier, well, well, you just don't do that when you blah, blah, blah. Well, I assigned this food factory and then I cut off the path for the construction office and now nothing's working. That's what the trucks over here were saying. It's like, oh, I can't get there. What do you want me to do? So it will happen. It happens to a lot of people. So yeah, I'd be surprised if it doesn't happen to you. It'd be great if it doesn't happen to you, but I would 
anticipate at least a couple times in the beginning of the uh, of the game it will happen to you just like that and that's fine there's nothing wrong with that and we all learn i want to turn this last piece also into gravel road but i'm pretty sure we're going to need fuel at all times so because we have so many vehicles driving around that that's one of the downsides if you use smaller passenger transports like we have here they will just take up more fuel. They don't cost a lot of fuel, but enough fuel that you need a truck that has to get fuel all the time. And if it gets fuel, it uses fuel and just has to distribute it to other places. And it just, it takes time. It's very normal. And I think I have to add a second fuel truck pretty soon. Um, maybe not right now. This one has more than enough, but this one, it's just always hard to fill up. That's another downside. If you have the smaller refueling station and you set it up to be like 70-80% full, your truck will constantly have to try to top it off. Let's see how much is he driving with. Yeah, only, th only four tons of fuel, of fuel. It's not great, but it's the way it's set up right now. I may set up a... Maybe we'll do a different gas station here at some point. I don't know, I, I prefer if they can run with full fuel tanks, or with full tanks period all the time. That's not always the case though. Okay, back to this guy. Now our road is done, and we should be able to get this all rolling. Without cutting it off again. What all are we constructing? I really wish the construction projects are on top here, not the bottom. Gravel quarry, okay, food factory. Two unfinished roads. This is one. And this is the other one. Gravel paths. We are doing relatively well. Gotta say. There's this one, which I would definitely want to turn. These cannot... Oh, yeah. Ha <laughs> The other thing, the buses that are running, they can't go for road construction at this point, so they will block off your bus stations too, just like that. Do we have people waiting here? Nope. This makes me a little happy that I can actually get through here, which was important to me. Yeah, and all you need here is just have a couple people wait there every once in a while. You don't need a lot. So I'm assuming there's nobody working here. We actually have some trucks waiting there. Perfect. You are probably bringing workers. Everyone is bringing workers down here. There's no gravel in here just because I messed up the bus station. And this is honestly the reason why you can't just um, like load the game, let it run, and just get things done. Because even if you know what you're doing, there are little tiny things that sometimes get messed up that will just break your republic and need some intervention major or minor and when that happens you can lose a lot of citizens it, it's not just been once where i walked away for half an hour to see something happening or get a snack get some to drink get do something that wasn't play the game and i come back everyone is dead and all i saw if you go to your population statistic is this bar for the year was Flat, 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 straight down. Just something happened that made everything stop. And sometimes that is your import isn't working right. Sometimes that is, I don't know what. It's just, it just happens. Uh, your health, uh, I'm, I'm clicking on here because I was looking at the health and the health wasn't perfect. The health is above 80%, which is all you really need, but it wasn't great. Average lifespan, all that is good. It looks like we got, so we started out with 31 university students. We have 34, which tells me, yeah, if you look at the blue bar, I would like to point with my finger at the screen, which is here, up there. <laughs> at the blue bar, you can see that we already have some people um, working, no, some people learning in the university. So all of that is working. You want to get a good number of, university educated people so you always have enough teachers to teach more people and you have enough smart people to be doctors and other things and there's um there are other other professions where you need smart people too so 
Just keep all that rolling. Let's look here. We we don't have more people coming in right now. That is something we need to address very soon because I also want to get more citizens before our food production can kick into full gear. I didn't actually look how many people can work in there. Factory. Small food factory. You can have 30 workers. So, you may or may not know this. In Workers and Resources, it is scheduled so that you have three work um, shifts per day. The days don't really work that, like that because day and night switches like every other day or every few days. So don't get hung up on that too much. Actually, I think they fixed the day and night cycle. So now it's tomorrow and it should get light pretty soon. But every citizen works for eight work hours. There's 24 hours in a day. So every shift has um, three different people or there are three shifts per work. So my food factory says 30 workers. That is 30 workers per shift. So um, you need 90 workers if you want to run 24-7, which you totally can. That's just, that's the number that you need. And to run 90 workers, you need enough food to keep them happy. You need entertainment. You need um, healthcare. You need education. You need a bunch of other things around that. And then out of 90 people, you get... Uh, 100, 150, they need kindergarten and school and all that. And you get close to like, you get close to a lot of people really fast because all of those are also three shifts. So you need to staff everything if you want to run 24 7 times 3. So if I want to staff all of this out, I need 90, 180, and 270. 270 people, which right now, don't know if you noticed, I have 188 working. Working age workers. No 21-year-olds. 21, uh, 21 and 7 to 21-year-olds, they don't work yet. So all we have to work with is 189. Do I want half of them to work in the food factory? <laughs> That'd be cool, but if I do that, other services will be cut short. And that could be really bad really fast. So, yeah. There's a little word in planning. Hope that helps someone. I didn't know that for a long time, so after I learned that, it helped me plan a little better for how many people I actually need. Okay, what's going on here? That road is getting done. That's good. I may leave this little side path, side pass in there for now. Gravel, we're doing okay. Yeah. I mean, stuff is happening. They're the buses here that are supposed to go to the coal plant, but if I don't have people working here, I don't spend money on importing coal, which is a good thing. And I don't spend money on running gas, which is another good thing. So yeah, just be smart with your expenses. Where are you going? You're going here. There's people there now. Okay, so this is working well. How much do I have going on? There's still... Food factory just started. The quarry... Technically just started two and a little bit of road. Let's see. What do you need? You need boards. Pretty sure there's one flatbed road going there right now, so I don't have to change that. Um, how are our gravel trucks? Gravel trucks are okay. I really want to turn more roads into gravel, but I'm a little worried. Do I have to be worried? We have 102. How much gravel do we need here? We're done with gravel there. We need 10 tons of gravel here. We need barely any gravel here, but we need concrete and we need some gravel here and a lot of concrete. So gravel should be fine. Let's get working on this. And here I'm just planning having trucks come in from one side and from the other side. Yes, I realize it's a little longer this way, but they will figure it out. Oh, uh, one thing I didn't tell you earlier, I had a couple gravel roads here that they started, which is this one and a couple ones here that I just stopped because we're not going to, sadly, we're not going to be in the coal area for a little while, at least until we can afford it, until we have income. But once we have income, that is something that will happen. 
Really all we need for income is this to work out the way I hope it will. Uh, yeah. One thing I am usually forgetting, and I hopefully remember in time, or in time enough, power. Can't do anything without power. We have a power station right there. There's a little substation over here, but you can overload the substation, so I recommend just setting up new ones when appropriate. And this feels like an appropriate place. I really want to keep this open for another building that I hope we can put there. So... Yeah. I we have we have power from here already touching the, that little that little um, bus station. So I don't want to put one too close to there, just to spread out the power because I'm sure we're going to need something else pretty soon. I think this is probably an appropriate place. Give it some of the big power line. Yeah, it looks like that will. Let me run a rail line right under it, and that's important. And here we go. This has to be constructed, obviously, before anything else over here works. But I am hopeful that that's just gonna work. <laughs> Look at this little little parade of cars. I wish there was a little nicer way to make the construction office construction office send out vehicles via flatbed truck. But even if there's a flatbed truck available, it doesn't always happen, so it's it's a mechanic that's talked about in the Steam Forum a lot. Um, they may address that before the full release version. They may not. Honestly, it's not the end of the world. It is a little bit of a problem for these little guys, because the people that are sitting in here are only going to wait for up to four hours in travel, travel time. Total traveling time. 240, so they, they will make it and it'll be fine. It just would have been nicer if they got to where they wanted to go faster. Um, yeah, I think if we have this graph, <laughs> there's like all of them. All of them are dropping off people here. Usually I don't reduce the amount of people or the number of people that can work that's far away from the city just because in the city. You have everyone just go on to the next construction site and that pulls away people from your bus stations. But if it's far away, it's all about how many people you can transport. Obviously, I was just able to transport a lot of people. So uh, I had a lot of guys just wanting to hang out and build stuff there, which, hey, the more the merrier. Stuff gets done faster, just sometimes you don't really need it. Set up this guy again, just our normal standard behavior. And yeah, looks like this road is well on the way to get done. This road is effectively done. And we just keep doing this. Um, there is nothing right now that needs to drive on this road. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, it has all the gravel that it needs. So all of this can continue and all of this side can continue just in between. We can already turn it into a gravel road, which is awesome. 20 tons. Yeah, I, I wish we had more gravel. Gravel is usually the first um, bit of product that I can export. Just for a video series, I feel like we need a little bit, something a little more sustainable. And gravel is not very sustainable, especially the full load, the 40 ton load of this guy. Let's see. 40 tons for gravel, sell for 10. $400. It's going to use a couple liters of fuel, and a ton of fuel is 150. So, well, I don't know the exact math. There's, we can maybe figure out how much it actually uses, but. It's not really worth it, and you don't move a lot of money very fast. With food, at least, it's a higher valued item. 11 times higher than gravel. Gravel, 10. Food, 130. 
So 13 times higher, so you can make your money 13 times back uh, 13 times faster, which totally worth it. Just FYI. Yeah, let's get these guys going. We do need the power. It looks like that path is done. So we can also get this one started. And yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to be in this area for a little while and get things expanded. Let's check on our citizens again. It's full. <laughs> uh oh. Um, we don't have adults living with parents i am a little surprised by that that we're exactly full oh there's there's one missing but what this really means is we have to get a new living quarter constructed no i'm gonna do this one it's fine it is relatively high priority it's not the highest for me right now I want everything kind of to get done at the same time, if possible. And you don't lose 21 yields right away, but it's something that will happen pretty soon. Just, just so you know. Right now, our death and birth rate is a little, our death is a little ahead of our births, which is very normal. If you remember, I talked about at the, in one of the early episodes that if you get all your citizens at the same time, they will do all the things at the same time, like verbing, dying, needing kindergartens, needing educations. Everything will just happen right at the same time, and that can be really bad. Oh, too many people. Uh, the first number below 10 is usually what I go for. You don't need more. You generally don't need more. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Um... Yeah, great. There's there's the first truck already there. Concrete truck should be in that area soon too. This one's actually moving a lot faster than I expected, which is great. Yeah, everything is everything is moving. If you play along at home, and I know at least one of you made a comment that you are playing along. There are times when I'm just I don't know. Um, actually, just I would like you guys to tell me if you want me to keep showing, if you want me to keep skipping when nothing is happening, when I'm just waiting for construction to finish. If it's a cool building, I will probably make a time lapse out of it. But if it's just road construction, like, look what's happening here. Not much. It's just this guy's having a disco at a disco, just sitting there doing his thing. Nothing's really happening. These guys are driving around. Ooh. What? I see. This road was blocking this bus from going where he wanted to go. I think he got stuck by... He was driving over this gravel road before it was actually started constructing it. And then when you... When, just because you construct it doesn't mean the game recognizes it as it's constructing. But here we are. Food is almost ready. I say almost, it has everything it needs. It's relatively cheap to build, so that's great. We need to start on the ever two, but I need, I feel like this is more important right now. Where's my concrete? Concrete, uh, hot mix and concrete batch. And there's a person there, there's a concrete mixer. You can hold 12 ton of concrete, there he is. You better be full. Okay, good. Yeah, let's build this. Do we have... There he is. He's going to drop off. No. Where are you going? Oh, okay. <laughs> the road is over here. I'm like, where are you going, dude? Actually. Ah. Fun fact, you cannot stop time if you are... Um, in this view. Whoop! Quick turn. Quick turn. And there's nothing here. And here we go. Built that house. Built that house. Built that house. You don't want to lose any of your citizens at the beginning, so it's important that you let the... Const it's important that you keep 
uh, keep taking care of your citizens. You can have a couple plus 21 year olds and they will... Ugh, seven. That's... Sorry if you don't like a lot. They will be okay for a little while, but don't... You don't want to lose people. You don't want them to escape. Let's see, do we have escapes? We don't have escapes yet, but if we don't finish this soon, I think we will have escapes. 37 tons of brick. That's a lot. Okay. <laughs> Look at all the little trubbies. Perfect. What is this one complaining about? New bus. Different bus. Other bus. The vehicles don't make that much of a difference. Look at the top speed and look at the capacity. Don't worry about the rest. I I never found them to be super... I never found there to be a big enough difference for it to matter for me. If someone else has a different opinion, let me know. I would actually be curious to know if there is a measurable difference. Um, I just never felt it in the game. Next things we need. This warehouse can probably be the first thing, the next thing that gets constructed because we need to import grain. Now you could say, I'm really close to the border, I could just magically import it, but that's not in the spirit of the game. So I will have a truck actually dropping it off. And I would like to have a distribution office manage all of this, um, but we'll see. Well, I may just use normal trucks. I don't know yet. Distribution offices are good for automatic things, for highly efficient things. If you set up your routes manually, you usually do better. Uh, let's see something. 10 tons of crops versus six and a half tons of food. So our ratio that we can make to turn crops into food is one to two. So I need to find a ratio here where I can transport, like have a couple trucks. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to say. I, I would, ideally, I had a truck that can transport 12 tons of crop and six tons of food. Then that truck can always go way till full on both sides and just transport things back and forth. That's what I really want. That's not how this works. So I have to find a ratio that's somewhere in the middle where I can have a highly efficient and effective way of transporting my goods. The trucks are slowing down really hard over here. I don't like it. Let's see if I get rid of the roads. Will that help? Maybe. I don't know if you saw that, but they did. They did slow down pretty hard. I was going to plan on just leaving this year, but if it's, if it's slowing me down, there's no good reason to do that. Buildings. Yeah, you are happening. How are we doing on these? 13 people, no escapes this month. No escapes last month. But yeah, it's, it's happening. I do know there is a better formula to describe when 21-year-olds um, want to run away from their parents. I think once they turn 30, maybe? There may be an age, there may be something in there. I don't know what it is. I just want to avoid that happening altogether. We have one more building after this one, and then we have to figure out a different... Um, just expand differently. Maybe we add some bigger building complexes or something. I don't know. We we do need a lot more people. I, I never played a game where I went past 10,000 population, just because... I got distracted by real life by other things. I'm hoping this game we will take it a lot further than that. But we will see. Food is done. Wow. No resources. Crops. Yeah, you need 32 tons of crops. This has to be done too. So yeah, we're, we're really just wrapping up all these constructions that have to happen before anything else can happen. But I'm, I'm really excited. Everything is working a lot smoother than I anticipated. Which is great. I have no idea how long the episode is. We'll see how much I need to cut out. We are at 1.7. 
I don't know how long I was looking at the gravel earlier, but we're getting pretty close to pretty long. I think I am going to, I think YouTubers call this a jump cut until stuff is done or stuff is more done here. And then we'll, we'll see where we go from there. So hang out for a little bit. No, it will just be a second for you guys. See you soon. So after that jump, we are pretty close and it took a lot longer than I expected. So you see we are in fall or October already. Temperatures are dropping. And yeah, people moved into a, our new house that we gave them or the new residential area that we gave them right away. But in the time that we were waiting, that many people came of age that we needed to start constructing the next one. So this will happen, and then next episode we definitely have to think about expanding our city in a reasonable way. But we also have this, and I thought I wanted to show you a little bit of this. So you have this line menu that is relatively new, not the last patch, but maybe a couple patches ago, where you can now manage your whole line with all vehicles on that line in one place instead of having to manage each vehicle at a time. You see all these green arrows, which are awesome. Well, um, when you do this, you gotta make sure to, actually, I want you to load food from here and unload whatever you have. Uh, you just have to make sure that when you set the lines like this, you accept the changes and then you see the green arrows pointing you at what you have. If you look at our money, we spend almost 150000 just while you were away. All we did is buy a couple trucks. I've had them running since the warehouse was done to fill up the crops so we can start producing. Sorry, game just crashed. We are still producing the pylons there but our vehicle line is already working i think load on load food yeah yep all oh, this is great um just this gravel road is something that we started and that can happen we are still spending a lot of money because i think we are constructing a bunch of are we are we done with constructing things by now I feel like we are. There is yeah, just a new new housing block and another road that we just started. The housing block will probably be done in a second. And I think that will be a great stopping point. We should start seeing money coming in next episode, I hope. Um, and then I hope that's all we really need and we should be able to continue from there. We will get a lot more people. We need to figure out how our city should expand. Um, we'll see. We'll see about that next time. But for now, that's all I have. Snow is coming, so we'll get cold again. But thank you guys for coming. Do all the YouTube things. Bye.